Hey guys, Doug here. How's it going? I have another Gift Spice Lee Max exclusive for you. Today I've got the Claws Cottage. I also have two accessories here. Uh, like I've been doing, we're going to keep adding to our display, and these are also Gift Spice exclusives uh, from this year. Uh, the Merry Mailbox and Under the Mistletoe. Claus Cottage is Santa and Mrs. Claus's house. Uh, it's really simple. I know that uh, there are a lot of these type of buildings throughout Lee Max, Department 56, the various stuff at Lowe's. Walmart has some like that. Pretty much every year it seems like just another spin on this, and uh, this is definitely one of the better ones. Uh, keeping it with the theme of this collection here, uh, very nice traditional yet fantastical style building uh, with a lot of details and a great paint job. There's a scene inside uh, with Santa and he's checking his list. He's in his armchair there, and uh, Mrs. Claus is decorating the tree. Really, really neat, and the whole thing lights up, so you can see this at night. Uh, the detail in the house is very nice. Um, it's a cobblestone-style cottage, and uh, you can see that there's actually textured, you know, cobblestone and brick. Uh, really, really nice touches to it. Uh, on the outside, there's also a traditional-style sack with toys in it, and you can see a teddy bear sticking out and some wrapped presents. Also, firewood on the side. Uh, it's a very cozy, you know, style cottage. Outside there are Christmas trees, and there's also a squirrel and a bunny, you know, uh, kind of looking inside, having their peak. It kind of just shows it's, uh, you know, part of the woodlands. Uh, really neat. Uh, like the other buildings um, that I've been reviewing here in the series, you can either put uh, three double A's underneath it, or you can use a Limax power adapter. I chose to use a power adapter here, just so I don't keep going through batteries. But it's nice to have the option in pieces. I'm, I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, letting you choose. Uh, details around the house, it's set up really, really nice. Um, again, the, the detail on this is uh, probably the best so far out of these buildings as far as the paint goes. I also like on the uh, the little chimney, there's a Christmas hat. Uh, really, really cool, you know, little touch. Getting into these accessories here, Mary Mailbox is, uh, well, you know, it's the Claus Mailbox. And you can see that it's already overflowing with letters, and there's all sorts of letters next to it as well. Uh, just, just from the kids, everybody sending in, you know, their requests. Really, really nice touch, and it works very well with this. Now, the building does have a little mailbox, but you can add this in the side. It's no big deal. Uh, this one's more pronounced, you know, bigger. And uh, the actual mailbox itself is, you know, candy cane styled. I, I, I really like that one. Then you have the Under the Mistletoe, which is, is a simple pair of figures. This is... Uh, you know, Santa and Mrs. Claus, he's holding a little thing of mistletoe, and they're about to give each other a kiss. So, uh, pretty cute little piece, and you can add these anywhere. Of course, this figure you don't have to use in the Santa's Wonderland. You could put it in any kind of display, and it would look great. Now, as you can see, our display here, it's really coming to life. We've got these three buildings here, you know, the hot springs off to the side, and all these accessories, you know, mixed in with the trees. Uh, I'm really excited for how this is coming together. It's looking like a very cool North Pole scene. And I have one more review of a building and a couple accessories. We're gonna add those in tomorrow and kinda to finish this thing off. My final thoughts on the Claws Cottage. Eight out of 10, just like the others one so far here in this series. Really, really nice paint jobs, even though the lighting isn't extravagant or anything like that. Building would also, it would work in other kinds of displays anyways, because I mean, Santa's house, you know, you have those everywhere. You have them, you know, decorations, uh, town squares, you have them at country festivals. Uh, I know if sometimes, uh, like my local park has a big like light festival, and they actually set up a big Santa house, and uh, you know kids take their uh, get their pictures taken with Santa Claus, and uh, parents come there. This would work great for that, so you don't have to just have a North Pole or Santa's Wonderland style, you know, setup to use this. I'm a big fan here, and uh, I'm really excited how this uh, this little village scene has taken place. I got one more piece in this collection of these gift spice exclusives for this year, and uh, that's going to be coming tomorrow, and I'm looking forward to talking about that one. I think that's my favorite out of this collection. So, all right, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.